Hi viewers, welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. How are you guys doing? We, I hope we're still combating that uh, COVID-19, wearing our face masks and all of that. It's Tuesday, Tuesday, so the week is moving slow but steady. So I hope that you guys are having a wonderful week. Well, thank you for tuning in to the baddest entertainment analysis show that does it better than nobody else. Yes, I said it myself. While sipping tea, we serve you with the hottest news, celebrity breakdown, and everything pertaining lifestyle. If it's hot, you follow us, Shakira and Yolanda, and my, of course myself. We will do the breaking down, the analysis, and all of that. So, welcome, squad. How far? How's it's it good, going? It's good. Mm -mm, it's okay now. It's good. I can't really see. <laughs> I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't. If oh, it, um, okay. Why are you acting like as soon as your glasses is recommended or something? Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> Lie to yourself. How's it going, people? So, is it just me or I feel like this week is slow? A bit? Very yeah, slow. Very I thought fam. it was Thursday. Do you know what I'm Yeah, when I saw that it was Tuesday, like since morning. Since Monday. <laughs> since Monday. Uh, okay. Since Monday, only on and then Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday is not yet over. Do you since understand? We just. <laughs> <laughs> since I woke up, it's just only 10 30. Wow. Oh. No, unacceptable. This is cool, though. Maybe it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I'm thinking this week is going to be good i mean uh, it's been good for me though, yeah no. february started on monday i think the vibe is just like very like go get yeah. do your thing type yeah, you know? i actually vibe, had sure. the um, same vibe to you yesterday um i lost a very close friend of mine to covid oh. yesterday so it was just but anyhow it's all meal Hey. Our condolences. In Nigeria. Oh, yeah, in Nigeria. He thought he had um, malaria, so he was just treating malaria. Hey. But when he now went to the hospital, it was quite too late, so he just died. Wow. Yeah. So oh. take COVID seriously. Wear your mm -hmm. face mask. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> what? Alrighty, let's do this. I think today's um, show is going to be good. We have True. a lot of guests, we have music, we have mm -hmm. hot topics, so let's get into it straight away. Okay. Our pro, our Mororo oh, okay. is warning this generation about the ongoing viral silhouette challenge which is causing mayhem online. The new craze allows girls in particular show their curves and melons by creating silhouette visuals using Snapchat and TikTok's latest filter. Due to its silhouette-esque features, girls can go naked without any of their sensitive body parts left in plain sight. The challenge has gone wild and has been trending every day on Twitter's trend list ever since it went viral as sex versions have been featured with some guys also showing off their properties, amongst other wild acts. Taking notice of the challenge, Nigerian comedian um, Aboruru uh, said, pass a verdict, that this generation is doomed. In a video shared on his Instagram page, he said, young people should remember that the internet does not forget, neither does it forgive. With the stuff going on on the internet, it shows that many of us have lost our sanity. This is him saying, or not me. We don't care about tomorrow. We don't care if it would backfire or turn out good. We don't know what we, what we just choose to do it. Like, we don't know what it is, but we just choose to do it anyway. I've already said this in a video, and he captioned it, Oh, Lord, help my generation. Amen. 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 Okay. Wow. Uh, hmm. They sound to spoil this hour. Yeah, for the guy. They have gone to other popcorn Ooh. from America. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and they just go on. Oh my goodness. But, okay. but but on the real though, on the real, I think I share the same um school of thoughts, especially that Apollo Apollo is on mm -hmm. because if you really think about it, the internet always keeps receipts for mm -hmm. my nothings. Mm. Not not to not talk of you showing off your body. Now, it, it tells me that a lot of these women and men do not believe they are going to be something important that they will need their, um, what's it called now, their moral background to mm. get it. Now, for example, imagine you want to become the governor of a, of a state <coughs> or the president of a country mm -hmm. or you're supposed to be endorsed for a brand that, that then somebody pulls that. Of course, they are going to drop you. It's automatic. It's just the way we are, especially in this part of the world. They can even be doing it in the Western world, but in this part of the world, we are not yet that advanced. And people want to be competing with people that they really don't care. They have the liberty to do whatever, which is what it should be globally, mm -hmm. though. Everybody should have a liberty to do whatever they want with their bodies. But we, we, we don't even give that type of permit out here. So why are we indulging in it? <laughs> and especially when they are now going to the extreme, Engaging in sexual activities on that red light. What's the defense? I can still see. <laughs> Do you understand? I feel you. I feel you. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. 
Do you want to go? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I kind of understand where you're coming from because I was kind of I was having this conversation with someone in the office about this um, challenge. So she was not like, um, what if you get married and your husband they show you this picture? I feel like for you to do this video, if there's something in your mind that you're trying, you're going to be comfortable with it if it comes back to bite you at the end of the day. Well, plus for you to do it in the first way, you're comfortable with showing your nakedness outside. So. If it's if it affects you, I just feel you take it with your um, Nobody's your Nobody's saying if if you, are, you shouldn't be comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm saying in this part of the world, okay, in the Western world, yes, mm -hmm. there are carnivals where they say go naked. There are pools that they say you have to yes, be nude. Yes, do, you, do you understand mm -hmm. that it, it's allowed there? Do we have those? Do we have that type of culture in Nigeria? And mm -hmm. my problem is if you are in Nigeria mm -hmm. okay. and you plan to live in Nigeria or have a political role or something important it is dumb it's just like that to me okay i mean i i understand where you say that we have to obviously think really deeply about what you put on the internet because we've seen how like cancel cultures have come in play mm -hmm. if you say the wrong thing and all of that and you know you just have to really be careful what you're putting on the internet but i don't know i'm up for um freedom and liberation mm -hmm. if you if you're the kind of person that doesn't mind that you see this thing I've seen different conversations. I've seen a conversation about like the future and roles and 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 um, you know high positions and whether or not this will affect it. I've also okay. seen the whole thing of like seeking validation from the internet and people have low self esteem and all of that. I don't think it's that deep for a lot of people. Not everyone wants to be a freaking politician mm -hmm. and a whoever's and whatever's. There are mm -hmm. people who genuinely find joy in I'm doing sure things like that. that. Yes, mm -hmm. there's some people that are very in tune, like kind of, I was watching Chloe's, you know, Chloe and Haley, those, those twins, you yes. know, she did hers as well. And I was watching her interview where she was saying that for her dancing and, and creating art with her body is where she finds a lot mm -hmm. of joy. So that kind of challenge for her is personal. It's make, it makes her happy. It's who she is basically because when I saw that, I'm not going to lie to you and say, Give me joy. You know, give me joy. Most of us are just like, Hey, oh, and it's finished. Sure. I didn't have any yeah, I really desire. Give me joy. But that's what I'm saying, that some people actually find that really liberating, the fact that there is a space for them to yes, express sir. themselves in that manner. That's what they want. I've seen friends that became prayer warriors. The moment they finish watching one solo a challenge, they just go, we bless this girl. <laughs> <laughs> May she find people. Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, hey. you just start praying for yeah, this girl. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Thank you for making you know, my you know? day. Yes. Yeah. 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 But, you know, I'm even talking about the dancers. A lot of the people that are enjoying the dance. I just think that there are different strokes for different folks. And everyone needs to allow everybody to do what they want to do. Um, and I like what you said, that if she's going to put it on the internet, trust me, she's very, very a lot of okay with it. very ignorant and trying to jump on the train. I don't think so. I think this one what about now that they are taking out the red filter okay that I mean. red filter one let's talk about it because i went and did more research the girl mm -hmm. that they took out their red filter didn't actually use no the, the she didn't use the proper red filter that you use from snapchat and tiktok she used oh, okay. something else and that's why it was light they went to buy some good no. they said the bulb is now five thousand red bulb is now five thousand now oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Gosh, oh. so you see some people did it the wrong way either mm -hmm. way and you see most of the time again those girls that put their bodies on there with red lights. They don't care if the red light comes off. There's a lot of people that have sexual liberation. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't care. Mm -hmm. They don't care. Mm -hmm. They really don't. It's kind of like me now. If you're talking about sex on TV, it's not a big deal. Like, I can't talk about it. Some people would never be able to do that. Do some people that. are not comfortable. They don't have that liberation. So now telling me, some people would tell me, some people would tell me now what? that in my... Can, <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Sex, like, they just took me off. Yeah. Right. You can't. No, I can't. I think it's a sacred thing between a man and a <laughs> Well, please, okay, please don't, okay, don't okay. make me laugh. Mm -hmm. But you see, some people tell me that it's not, it's not a good thing and that you need to be careful, that some people will run away from you. Men don't like that. Da, 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 da. But you see, I'm so comfortable that I feel like if you have a problem with that, then you and I are not supposed to work together. Mm -hmm. Any job that needs me to not talk about sex, it's not for me. Uh, any yeah. man that needs me to Say not it. be able to talk about okay. sex, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. So any job, any prospect, any opinion, an idea, and brand, and and position that's not allowing these girls to Express do they, they i don't think they want it so mm. it's okay actually uh, and uh, whoever else let them continue to do what they want, want to do to. i think the only advice i would give is that make sure that that's actually what you want to do if you're not doing it for the a wrong reasons, like, yeah, just following trend. Yeah, if you're not doing the wrong reasons and you're not like, they are just jumping I don't think so. I didn't say any child do that thing. Oh. I didn't say any child. And everybody that anybody that I, everybody that, in my opinion, everybody that I saw do it actually have a history of of exposing their bodies. Like 
there, these people actually like um, showing a lot. Like Chloe now, before the red red uh, light silhouette challenge, mm -hmm. she already did busses where yes. her she was not wearing pants. Yes. Mm -hmm. They already like that. So it's not the first time or the second time. Just allow people to do their thing, please. And the people that are removing red light, don't be creeps. Let people enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Starting out very and let's let's not lie to you. This world we're living in is evolving, and I think Nigerians yeah. are fighting that so hard. Mm. It's evolving. Nobody cares Maybe we'll stop wearing anymore. See, there is now <laughs> a real nice. see. If uh, there is this internet and this global community mm -hmm. is a blessing, they have made it possible eh, okay. that you can become in lack of better words, a Nigerian was an Ashawo and thrive in that yeah. till you die. But like, I don't you will get up for it, you it, to actually be that way in this Nigeria. I, mean, you know, not, we are it's, it's I don't know, we are grounded by rules and morals. There, there, there like, are it's girls hard. that are doing mm -hmm. that nicely and are thriving and, and they're receiving backlash they've because got of it. I don't know if you guys heard about the sex club somewhere in the north and um, they took it up and uh, they, they went to um, demolish the building, right? right. There. And then I was having a conversation with somebody, you know, so he was like, ah, so there's out to wait till like he. So mm -hmm. there's actually a club where you just walk in, you sit in a room, mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. member comes in, and then she just walks into your room and then you guys for free. You mm -hmm. don't need to know each other. You don't have to speak to each other and all of that. And I'm like, wow. Yes. And people are doing it undercover, and people have done it for years. There's people that have been doing that business for 20, 30 years, and have even become president of the association. And mm -hmm. then they teach the younger people, and then they die, nothing happens. So if it, you, they'll be all right. Sure. They'll be fine. Yes. Gelato Krona, DJ Copy, has dragged Davido's aide Israel DMW to court over claims of not paying singers at an Ibile after making a record together, which is Gelato. It would be recalled that some days ago, Israel DMW made a very strong accusation against Billionaire's daughter of not paying of not paying the Zanko master a penny. Excuse me. After recording the hit single Gelato together, in a recent tweet, DJ stated affirmatively that all the agreements of the contracts on the songs were met, while adding that Israel DMW would face the court for defamation. For the record, and I quote, there are no breaches of my contractual agreement regarding the song Gelato as confirmed by lawyers. However, at Israel DMW, public, publicly inaccurately declared I owed an artist money. I don't know why all of a sudden he said she said an artist, why she don't call <laughs> Stan Lamb. But anyway, I'm suing him for label and defamation suit in court, she wrote. This story has progressed and I feel like we've slept on it a bit. Mm -hmm. The last time we talked about it, we did not know... Well, Why uh, um, Zaltan was Zaltan ignoring and, copy? And yes, mm -hmm. yeah, we didn't know that. But a lot of people have come out to say some things. I side. hope you saw the Joey yeah Joey yeah, because yeah, that's right important now. to this conversation. Yeah. So I mean, Joey Akan also came out to say that um, you know it is indeed true that um, basically siding DJ Copy that she did everything she was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. She paid everything and blah she blah paid blah. Paid for the hotel. She but, paid for transportation, mm -hmm. accommodation, yeah. feeding, mm -hmm. and all of that. But um, I think in, in, in what he said is that it was a fake, it was a goodwill, it was a show of goodwill mm -hmm. for Zlatan to be at the fundraiser or the charity stuff because she performed at um, Naira Mali and Zlatan's concert for free. free. Yeah. She, she flew down her equipment and all of that, okay. but that's from Joey Arkin yes, as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. that she flew down her equipment and um, she performed for free. So he just went to return the favor. So she wasn't supposed to pay. Well, she, I'm guessing she's under the impression that he was returning the favor. But we're right? totally missing what, but remember what that this one guy is? said, this is mm. the video's manager, what he said in regards to Zao Sandra, he said that um, GJ Copy didn't pay Zao Sandra for, mm. for the music they made together, get Gelato, mm. right. and she ignored... No, she, she didn't, ignored he didn't him. actually... Nobody he didn't, said he that. Actually, he no, didn't, he actually read that. No, no, Did anybody no, say that, that they that's, why, that's why I didn't They're understand. Like, they didn't pay him what he needed for Gelato. I actually read that on the internet. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that's not from his post, though, because that's something I didn't understand as well, even with um, Copy's response. Okay. Um, Israel never talked about Gelato. He talked about the hotel. He said that she was, he was not compensated for... And that, and that, what's it called? If you, if you, he even said it again on Twitter, I said, if you paid for his hotel and his this and his that, come out and let us know. Because he was there when um, whoever paid well, for The only thing Israel spoke about was accommodation, the old fundraiser. Exactly. He never talked to, and I don't understand why she keeps Wait, replying okay. with gelato. Yeah, so I don't which understand. Is why I'm also saying that she hasn't expressly denied yeah. the Abuja thing yeah. either. Mm -hmm. She, because she's focusing on gelato, but she has not expressly said, Oh, no. I paid for, for, yeah. for the accommodation. So it seems I like they are talking, but not about the same conversation. I think we're not being given enough information. I think mm -hmm. they all need to disclose a whole lot more. We'd like a, a DJ copy to tell us more. 
you know, mm-hmm. show us receipts, show us proof that look, I paid for this, I paid for that, you know, so that we can put this. But to according rest. to Joey, she's even saying that she, the, what he's saying is that she didn't, she didn't even need to pay for that, that he he did it out of free will. And he's will. saying that over fifty people came, so it was a general booking. It was okay. a general flight booking. It was a general hotel. So it's like me now taking like fifty rooms in one hotel. Mm. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. I'm paying up front. So as soon as my guests come, oh, give him a room, give her a room. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. That's okay. that was what. When that according to Joey, so I don't get where this whole gelato talk is coming from. I, I, I to be honest with you, I mean, when when we first talked about the story, I remember saying that there might be a cultural clash and like class class mm-hmm. clash, clashing mm-hmm. mentality. And then I saw um, um Israel's thing, and I was thinking, oh, okay, I might be wrong. And then I saw Joey's thing, and then now you know, I'm still I'm, I have to go back to that same thing where I still feel like this is has to do with like um, still a clash because it it. it it's it's very dangerous when you assume for the other person. Like um, if I do you good, I ask, I'm, I'm going to assume that you're going to do me good. But assumption is is not right because True. if I, if it's not spoken, if it's not agreed on, I'm just assuming, and I don't ha- I cannot think for you and think that you think like me. I think a lot of people make that mistake. True. Like I remember one time somebody offended me or something. I don't know we we're playing and he, he said something. And I was like I don't I don't really like that. And he said, Well, I play with everybody and nobody. Well, you're assuming already that I'm everybody and I and I think that same way. I'm telling you I'm offended. I'm offended. Period. So I think it's one of those things again where. Why do I sound like I'm the guy you're talking about? You are the guy I, I'm so, talking about. You are the guy I'm talking about. I don't know what to jab on, but you know like. Uh, what, people are very different mm-hmm. and you have to make it very clear. So even sometimes I have to even um, step back and say, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't be so upset at this person about, about Ife because in his perspective, because uh, I also assume that he knows better, mm-hmm. but he's not telling me that he does it to everybody else. So you have to give space True. for proper communication mm-hmm. and like agree on what you're agreeing on. Let's know what we are actually both agreeing on. So yeah. if, if um, Zatan is upset that he assumed she was going to take care of it. Like, it's not not reason to be like, upset. This matter she no, not even no, be this let serious. Let me tell you why this is. Let me just say it first, sorry. You know, when we were talking about it at first, we were like, um, they should have handled it a little bit better. Yeah. I just feel everything should, would have ended if when um, DJ Copy was trying to reach out to Sasa, he actually answered that. Instead of coming online to say, um, we just copy all this yeah. thing, it was quite immature. You yeah. could have just handled this per, um, privately and Yeah, because why are you so you. upset that she didn't pay for your bill? Just like, tell her! And why it's, are you holding it? Why are you guys calling Zlatan? Zlatan is not making... People are speaking for Zlatan. Did Zlatan tell Israel to go and put out a post? <laughs> So why are we calling out so Zlatan? Delta, okay, not, they're not aware that thing. this thing is out right now. The reason okay, why, why me I know that this story okay, is legit is because I know for a fact that they were looking for Joey to come and beat Joey after Joey said what he said. That um, they've been looking for Joey for a while. Who? Zlatan. When Zlatan, uh, when Joey wrote the article on his um, AI artificial intelligence, it's an article that he writes. What I'm saying is that uh, I know no, that Zlatan was AI, Zlatan was pained at this guy's opinion. And that's why you making it look like the the rich girl bad me or whatever. So he didn't deny the story. He's never really denied the story. At least from the people that I know that are close to him, he's never denied that saying that. Oh, this is not why I'm upset. He's just upset about the narratives that are coming oh, out. Maybe did you, guys, has... did you guys see the video, the live video between Zlatan and Davido? Yeah, it's, it's an the, old video the... where um, the, Zlatan was the actually at the fundraiser. Mm-hmm. So the live video was on the day of the fundraiser. Okay. And Davido was like, where you did? He was like, ah, I did one place with them down go tea and not tell the share 100 million or 15 million. Davido goes, ah, go collect your session, buy, no touch our hand, do. Do you understand? And they kept, and Davido was like, ah, go sing gelato. You could not reduce this like, I could rub them last like, Just joking mm. though, you get. But at the end of the day, that was the issue. Yeah. Think about it. You invite me somewhere, you raise like a billion, <laughs> more than mm. a billion naira. Courtsy, take after la ton I'm bad pass. Just yeah. you know, Roger I boys. I feel you, I feel like she could have too, but I don't think he, I don't but think she that's... doesn't owe him. Yeah. But, but she it's could have humanity yeah. Yeah. requires yeah. you yeah. to, you know. Especially because you know the industry and stuff. But yeah. then again, would you still be that upset that she didn't? I don't want us to put this on Zlatan. I don't want us to put this on Zlatan because Zlatan has not come out to tell us. He will, of course he will not come out, he's enjoying the 
the what's it mm -hmm. called right now and he just dropped a song so this is helping the boss of that I song that, as I want well that, i want that guy that sang that song to come to do you understand yeah. so he, he just dropped uh, he's, he's increasing the buzz of that song okay. she's probably enjoying the fame as well mm. and israel dmw is, is is known to be a clown in the dmw you know he's the he's the old guy that they just play with and they it's not like he's a, he's a firm member because he's mm. in charge of david O's logistics he's mm. a logistic manager so he's a correct guy actually okay. but he's a, he's a very jovial guy so nobody has actually seen this side of him and for him to actually come out and say all of this He's also helping him because now we're talking about Israel DMW. Yeah. Who I knew him before now? I didn't know who he Do was. you get what I mean? So I think every party involved is benefiting somehow. They're receiving their karma. I like mm. that. 